Welcome back into Good Parenting Radio. Dawn Schiller is the author of The Road Through Wonderland, Surviving John Holmes, and she joins us here right now. Thank you for being with us, Dawn. Thanks a lot. You have an amazing story. We've been talking off air here for quite a little bit about your story, and I wanted to bring you in for a parenting show here because I think for a lot of us, we worry about our communication with our kids. I have young kids, I've been telling you, nine and five years old, and as they get older, I know that the communication we share now is a lot of what's going to be built up later in their lives. Mm -hmm. And although we have what I would consider a relatively stable home environment, mm -hmm. I think in the back of every parent's mind, there's this fear of when they get to that rebellious phase, when they get older, will they want to run away? Will we reach this conflict point that will break the bond that we build up over their young years? Right. Your story is quite different than that. Right. I mean, you grew up in an amazing, and I don't mean amazing in a great way, yeah. an amazing young life that led to an a uh, even amazing, more amazing and crazy adult life, right. and finally to a point where you are just doing incredible work for teens that maybe face some of the same circumstances you faced. Give me just a little bit of background on your story, if you would. On my story, well, my we were talking earlier, my story was, it's actually very common, but, um, uh, but it wasn't perfect. It was definitely a dysfunctional family. My father was gone. He was an absent father. He... Um, He's a Vietnam War vet, so I mean, I'm not making excuses for him, but he came back from the war and then immediately left with yeah. some lie about, you know, making more money. And so as kids, we, we were abandoned by him. My mother's a German national, and she uh, was stuck raising three kids and having to take on several jobs just to raise us as a single mom. Uh, she was bitter, and she was angry. We were in trouble a lot. We were uh, beat a lot, and um, that was our life. That was our childhood. And, and I agree, you're not making excuses for him, but he served multiple tours of duty. Yes. And was exposed uh, very much to Agent Orange. Yes. And even in just the work he was doing, yes. as a, was it a gunnery? He was a door gunner in uh, Play Coup, and he did some serious action time. Does that mean he stood on the open door of the helicopter shooting from the yes. air? Yes. If you ever saw the movie uh, We Were Soldiers with Mel mm -hmm. Gibson, mm -hmm. that exact battle was the battle that he was at. You wrote in the book that the average life of the gunnery doorman was seven days. Seven days. And he went through multiple tours of duty. He did two tours. Mm -hmm. um, so he was messed up. He was he messed, was messed up. up when he came back. And he traveled a lot, was always off finding a new job, was going to send money back, was making you guys move. Right. You had a somewhat tranquil life in New Jersey. Right. And then when he finally came back one time, said, let's move to Florida. Mm -hmm. I, I'm guessing that was because there was going to be work down there. Yes. Life was going to be better. Yes. And that's when things really began to unravel. Right, right. What happened when you got to Florida? When we got to Florida, Dad left. Uh, it wasn't enough for him. He couldn't settle. He was... Uh, a lot of PTSD, you know, he, he was suffering a lot of stuff. And uh, he decided that he was going to go to Iran and make money um, as a telephone man. And he took off and just didn't come back. 